Tucked in the corridor between the east and west lies Azerbaijan, a society rich in culture and in oil, but also a complicated place with a war-torn past whose scars are still evident today. A unique country whose population is 90% Muslim, but the society is largely secular. No calls to prayer are heard, and religious rights are protected. This is one of the most auspicious elements of Azeri society, the Great Mosque. Here, we understand Azerbaijan's commitment to protecting its multicultural society and prioritizing tolerance above all else. The reason why Azerbaijan doesn't have any conflict in this field is because, first of all, Azerbaijan has always been a multicultural country full of tolerance. And given the geographical location between the crossroads of civilizations, we never had a problem based on ethnicities or differences among the cultures. But for Azeris, it goes beyond a commonly shared societal value. The culture of tolerance and multiculturalism has been elevated to the level of state policy now. Even with this culture of tolerance, Azerbaijan is far from a perfect model of democracy. According to US-based and government-funded NGO Freedom House, Azerbaijan falls in the not-free category, scoring 11 out of 100, with zero being not democratic at all. Freedom of press is a complicated area, with foreign and domestic journalists blacklisted and or arrested for speaking ill of the government. But some Azeri political leaders are optimistic about the path forward. Democracy also uh, you know, requires also evolution in the mindset of the people, right? It also comes with the new generations and with the evolutionary change in the mindset of the people. Therefore, strategic vision is obvious. And we have a strategic target. Azerbaijan is developing on the democratic path. A modern state only 28 years old and with an embattled history in the not too distant past, Azerbaijan serves as a model for religious tolerance and harmony, but the path to democracy may still be some distance away.